The first thing you need when getting started with the Cloudinary APIs and SDKs is the credentials. So let's see how easy it is to find right inside of your dashboard. Finding your Cloudinary cloud name and API keys is as simple as heading over to your programmable media dashboard, where at the top of the page under product environment, you'll be able to find your cloud name, which you can easily copy to your clipboard. In order to find your API keys, you can either navigate to the go to API keys button or head over to your settings in the left sidebar, where under the API keys section, we can find both our API key and our API secret, where I can copy my API key. And if I want to access my API secret, I can select it to be visible, where you may be asked to to verify your password, which will then allow you to see and copy your API secret. You can also rename your keys, such as if I wanted to make this test or generate a new API key pair, where maybe this one is for production. And if I no longer want that key pair to be active, I can either inactivate it or I can go ahead and delete it. We can even see the Cloudinary API environment variable, which composes the cloud name, API key, and secret to make it easier to use in some projects. Where now we're able to use our cloud name and API keys when using the Cloudinary API or wide variety of Cloudinary SDKs. And as a reminder, be sure to never share or expose your API key in secret or commit it to Git to avoid compromising your account, where you can instead use tools like environment variables to securely connect to your account. Next up, let's see how we can get started uploading images to Cloudinary with the Node.js SDK.